In this training video, we're going to look at the feature called Advanced Filtering and using the option in this video called Filtering in Place. So for Advanced Filtering, you need an area of data. So we've got an area of data here from A9 down. So here's our data. And you also need a criteria area. Now generally you write criteria at the top of a filtering area for advanced filtering. So to produce the criteria, you've got to duplicate the data headings as I have here with salesman to unit sold. And you've got to write some criteria here in the, the blank cells then about what you want the data to look for and to filter for. So we are now going to create a criteria against the scenario here. So this scenario is looking at display the units sold for sales from France. So for example, France and France has got to be less than 10,000. So I only want to see France from less than 10,000 or sales from Spain, which are greater than or equal to 15,000 or any sales by Hargreaves. So there's Hargreaves there or any sales that are less than or equal to 10,000 by Harris. So quite a few bits of criteria there. We'll start from the top and work our way down. So when you write in criteria, you come straight under the headings and the first one I want is France, the country. So I'm just going to type in France. It doesn't matter if it's capitals or not or sentence because as long as you type it correctly. So France has to be less than, so less than is the arrow to the left and less than 10,000. Next one then is Spain. So I'm going to go directly below, which is now B3 and I'm going to type in Spain. And Spain has to be, in this case, greater than or equal to. So greater than is an arrow to the to the right, and then equals to is an equal sign. And that's going to be equal to 15,000. Next one is any sales by Hargreaves. So line down again. The line down is an O. Hargreaves. And then a line down again. Or Harris. And Harris has to be less than or equal to 10,000. So less than or equal to 10,000. So let's see what this is saying. It's saying criteria France and France has to be less than 10,000. Next one then is or, or Spain and Spain has to be greater than or equal to 15,000. Or any sales by Hargreaves or any sales by Harris. And the sales by Harris have to be less than or equal to 10,000. To start the advanced filter off, you click in the data. So I'm just going to click in the data, go to the data tab, sort and filter section of the ribbon, click advanced. And you've got two options, filter in place or copy to another location. The list range has been sorted. Now this criteria range has been remembered from information I've done previously. So I'd always advise you, if uh, you have got previous information in, always to delete it and reset it. If, it's a, if, it, if you've never used the advanced filter before, you'll just see the criteria range blank. So I, I've made it blank again now. Now I, I want the criteria range to show me A1, you must include the headings, down to D5. Now you'll notice I've got, I've got other blank rows. I don't include these. These are only for if I want to add extra criteria. And I can see the name criteria. So there's a name given to these cells. It's called criteria. So there's a named range in place. And now I'm just going to click OK. So that gives me 25. So 25 of 106 happened to hit this criteria. Now you might say, well, how can we prove this? Well, you can start doing some sorts. So I could click in the data, go to the data tab, sort. And then you can think, okay, how will you sort? We might think, okay, I want to see countries, which are, or I might say, show me countries first, in, or you might even say units sold first. So this is a preference. So I think in this case, I'm going to go units sold, because I've got less than 10,000 here and less than 10,000 here. So I'm going to, first of all, go units sold, and I'll go, largest to smallest i'll go the other way around and then i'll add another level and then i'll go by country and i'll add one more and then i'll go by salesman okay let's see how that works 
Okay, so all the big values I'd have to take as Hargreaves, because that's anything from Hargreaves. Then I get some Spains, and the Spains have to be greater than 10,000. So there they are there. And then Hargreaves, anything by Hargreaves. And Morris, there's a Morris there, that's France, less than 10,000. So you can see how a sort can help you actually work through your data. People sort in different ways. This to me, it makes sense in, in the way that I, I would do a sort, but sorting is very much preference to how people see the data themselves. So there's a sort, but I, I know I could prove this data to anybody and I know it's been sorted and I know I can prove the criteria against the scenario that's been set. And the filtered record is 25 of 106. In a separate video, we will be looking at advanced filtering where we copy to another, another location, but this is advanced filtering and filtering in place. That's the example we just covered in this particular video. And this completes the training video on advanced filtering and filtering in place. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.